everybody. What are you doing these days? What are you making? What kind of Korean side dish you make? I know all of you guys are passionate cooks. Probably you are going to make something, but it's very hot, hot day. Probably most of you guys are interested in learning something really cool, refreshing summer side dish. Today I prepared the recipe for cold, cold, icy seaweed salad. Miyak muchim. Miyak is a seaweed. I don't want to use the seaweed, weed. Weed sounds like, like a kind of a not food, it's not edible. I tried to change the name as a seaweed, as a sea vegetable, sea plant, but I gave up. Everybody calls it seaweed, so no choice but to call it seaweed. There are so many seaweed cooking ingredients in Korean cuisine, you know that. All the name is different. This is Mia. Mia, I will show you. Smells like already ocean. This is really dried seaweed. We have to soak in cold water. Let's measure one ounce, around 30 grams. This seaweed is also called wakame in Japanese. In Korean, miya. Cold water. I'm going to soak this 30 minutes. 30 minutes after, this guy is going to be really expanded. It will look like a real seaweed you know, growing in the ocean. So 30 minutes passed. And then our seaweed is like this, so expanded, beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> it's like really in the ocean it's growing. Ooh. Wow, almost it's covered my face. Dried milk should be good quality so that when it's soaked, it's really like a soft and green color and pretty and it large, large leaves. I'm going to post this photo of what, which brand is there. I'm not working for that brand company, but I have been using meal from here and there, and then I think that's the best brand. Check out the recipe, I'll just post the photo. Then we are going to blanch this. Some salt to make it more green color. Add this here. And only 30 seconds we are going to blanch. Really beautiful green color. Rinse this in the cold running water until all this gets cold. These days you guys go to Korean grocery store, you see that sometimes like seaweed, seaweed salad they sell in the package, expensive. You don't have to do that from now. You just make this, buy real ingredient meal and make your own and cheap and more delicious. So milk is well blanched and then that's it and we are going to just mix this with sauce. Let's make really delicious my sauce. <laughs> you can use white onion or yellow onion but this is around one ounce, 30 grams and then slice it thin. And then two cloves of garlic, mince. This large bowl, I'm going to add this. This is jinganjang, dark soy sauce. Quarter cup. White distilled vinegar, quarter cup. We need something sweet stuff. I will use honey, but you guys can use other sugar or other sweetener. Okay, so two tablespoons, let's use. One, two. Then we gotta mix this guy. And this is uh, my rice scoop. 
I really I love this when I mix this because it's made with plastic. This rice scoop is perfect to mix this. Wow, this smells sweet, sour, and salty. I love this. Mm, I love it. Let's add this mia. But this guy is so large. We have to squeeze out and cut it into bite size. Cut it this. Just around one inch size, like this. And then, opposite direction, like this, or a couple of times. So this is all bite-sized pieces. And then, let's add here. Look at this, a lot amount. Wow, smells so good. I love this smell. My mouth is watering because I know exactly the taste, what it tastes like. Usually, I serve this right away with rice, but uh, sometimes when I make some a lot amount, you can refrigerate up to one week. No problem in the refrigerator. You can make this in advance. In that case, keep it in the glass container. So I'm going to keep this in the refrigerator at least for 30 minutes until this is really gets cold. I'm going to eat this as a side dish with my rice and other side dishes. Today, I made some special kalbi. So kalbi and miyang muchim and rice and kimchi. That's perfect Korean meal. Sesame seeds, around one tablespoon sesame seeds, I'll crush, just half crush, not too fine. Only a couple of times just I crushed. That's enough. My galbi, ready? I'm going to bring my cold miyang muchim. I'm going to shave some of my ice to make it really cold. This ice. And then make egg. When I made the popping video, I use the same machine. If you don't have ice shaver, use just ice cubes, several ice cubes, just before serving. And sesame seeds, that's it. This is my summertime meal. Today is a special galbi and kimchi, and this is miyok, miyok muchim. Let's eat. My water, prepare a small bowl so that every individual can scoop this with a ladle and then eat it. But I can just eat it. Soup first. Ah, oh, wow, so cold. Mmm, yummy.
Mm. Sweet, sour, crispy, crunchy, little slippery inside of my mouth, and with a lot of milk, see with the flavor like ocean smell. Awesome. I like to eat more. This time, a lot. Mm. One piece of cooked galbi and samjang or gochujang, like this. Delicious. Sometimes when you eat galbi, even though this is not a galbi video, I'm showing you. Sometimes you eat the galbi, I just pick it up like this and eat. Like this. Mm. Only just the little bones. In the LA galbi, there are three or four bones here. This is really sweet and savory and really awesome. It's a milk muchim and bulgogi galbi really go well together, especially summertime. This is a hot and milk muchim is a cold and sweet sour taste go well together. Today we made milk muchim. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.